Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So for today, I'm going to be a floating head. I just realized that I have the screen shirt on, and I have a green screen behind me, so you know I'm I'm like half transparent. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm I'm a ghost. I'm a I have a ghost body and a levitating head. All right, that's that's literally literally what I am. This is my true form. This is my final form. All right. Anyways, um, <laughs> welcome back to my Monster Super League daily video. What we're going to be doing today is I actually want to do a little bit of PvP because I, um, wait, oh, I didn't do bingo today. I think I kept, I kept pressing that X and not doing the bingo, but um, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to do two PvP fights. We're going to do something else and then come back. I'll refresh the list and then we can do another two fights because I kind of need to get my rank up. I realized that I actually messed up really bad. I was supposed to start climbing yesterday, but I, I started climbing today. I'm currently in Challengers 1, but my goal is to try to make it to Heroes 1 before the reset tomorrow. And I have basically a day and two hours left, so I have like 26 hours to do that. So hopefully I can do that. If I can't, it's actually worth it for me to use some Astro Gems, like literally refill some Astro Gems to try to get to Heroes 1, because you basically get like twice the amount of Astro Gems from here to here. So, um, you know, I'll definitely, definitely do my best, definitely try my best to do that. So without further ado, let's let's kick some ass. I honestly should max out my my Kira. Ooh, this thing's built half tanky. Wow, oh, it's almost it's like a, a little away from dead. And that injury's gonna hurt. Ooh, yeah, that injury's gonna hurt. I knew it. I messed up. I should have, uh, I should have comboed with the two Gatitos. It would have killed the Vic, and then I could have used these two to hit the Indra. Um, but I guess it's not too bad. We'll just, we'll just kill this Victoria, and hopefully she doesn't hit my Gatito. If she doesn't hit my Gatito, I basically win. Nice, beautiful. Oh crap, I messed up. I attacked too early with the Cupid. Or else I would have a shield by now. I think I'll just do this. Um, save my bar for later. And we'll kill this nightmare. Mm, she sealed me. I didn't. I don't get that 50% crit damage when I'm sealed. It is quite annoying, but you know it's not it's not too bad. Doesn't matter that much. Now I've been seeing I've been seeing like water Johns quite a lot in mid range arena, like or mid 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 tier arena. I think um, you know around around challenger and stuff like that, or as as I was climbing. I think she's not too bad for PvP. Mm. Alright, this is what I usually do. I always do the last fight, and then I go, and then I do the first fight. Um, because the, the last fight is basically based on your point versus the opponent's. So if he has more points than you, you actually get more points. And as you ra ra raise your points higher, you actually get less points for beating him. So the most effective way to get points is to actually refresh your list, do the guy on the very, very end, and then come back and do your random matches. You actually get quite a lot of points that way. So who do I kill? Uh, man, this, this seems like a team I would use. It's like the extreme, extreme free-to-play team. I'm going to get rid of the C-Star, actually. A little bit threatening. Mm, Hana is just as bad. I'll actually kill the Hana first because it's it's light, and I'm dark. Ooh, that was so much damage. Hopefully, I have enough damage to kill this. I really should kill this Cupid before he gets his shield up. Or maybe I should have killed the Miho before she got her active up. But she needs two more turns to get her, uh, to get everything. 
Okay, I have no choice. I have to heal. Oh, crap. And I'm sealed. Please, Katie, don't live. Okay, I win. That was pretty close. I actually should have killed the Sea Star and then killed the Miho second. Because the Hana actually doesn't do as much damage as the Miho. Also, I should max out my Kira gems. Uh, they're, they're not like super good, but I think they're good enough. Can't be too picky with the stats because, um, you know, I'm, I'm using a Pugilist set with her, so I don't have like the best sub stats on, those, on that Pugilist set, mainly because I had to put the set together. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to, I wanted to do some rebirths. And, um, well, not, not Rebirth. I wanted to just do some summons and then roll the dice event. And then we'll come back. We'll go back to the arena and then probably do some dragon runs. And then I'll save most of my dragon runs for um, the stream. I think I'll stream tomorrow and have a a dragon run stream. I think it might be a weekly thing because I, I have a lot of dragon sigils to, to use every single week. So we're going to need to pull four of these. We need to somehow do four pulls and hope my inventory doesn't max out, which it probably will. Uh, I should have pro pull start pu started pulling the granites first. Uh, I can do two re two fusions. If I can, if I do two fusions, wait, yeah, if I do two fusions, I basically get sixty points, right? So I think I can just fuse two sirens with two Beths. Yeah, I think that'll definitely work. Because fusions are 30 points. Man, I can't wait for this event to be over. Like, this event forced me to do so many so many more fusions because, um, you know, you're basically... F you have to get 200 points every single day somehow. And the only other way to get it is to do summons. So I had to either do fusions, do the soul stone summons, or... Or do rebirths and it forced me to do a lot of rebirths for this event but I'm glad that there's only three days left all right let's let's roll some dice and it gave me a four star to six star chest now this is probably the worst roll it's probably worse than 30 30 K gold because usually the chests are, are give you less than 30k gold. They give you a gem that's worth less than 30k gold. Ooh, 100 Astro Gems. That is sweet. Now, I'm still considering if I should participate in the Heroes Festival. Because, um, you know, there's no longer, like, any guarantees that you'll get anything. And, I mean, it, it is what it is, but, like, I, I'm not sure if it's really worth it for me. But I'll, I'll try to, like, save up maybe enough to do, like, five to seven pulls. And if it's, like, if the average is any more than that, I'm probably not going to try because the rates are just too low that, that way. Ooh, egg, astrogem. Ooh, 100, 100k gold. 50k gold? Okay, not bad. Come on, give me another astrogem pull. Okay, another 50k gold. All right, today, today's rolls are pretty good. I must say, this is pretty sweet. With the exception of this chest. Unless it gives me something really good. Nope. What, what was I expecting? Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's, that is pretty much it for the event. Now, the reason why I can't summon right now, I really would like to summon for you guys right now, but I, I can't summon for you guys right now, is because I need to kind of just wait for the the next rebirth list. Because right now I'm not doing any rebirths, and my inventory is basically almost full. Like, I my storage is is almost full as well. So it's getting, like, I'm, I'm reaching my limit. Like, I really cannot hold any more monsters. I'm probably just going to... Um, you know, while waiting for the next rebirth, I might just uh, either start releasing a few monsters 
or maybe start start farming story maps and then just for the next four days i'll just only do do golems and stuff like that um i've been farming a lot of story maps it's pretty crazy but i also spent a few like i spent a bit of time in golems this week because you know or else i wouldn't have those eggs um but yeah I, i've been f farming a lot of story maps my my progression like the way i farm is usually i go to slumbering city and i um i go to the skull stage with this like succubus th three miho team i go in and i basically farm 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 until i have like a lot of gold and um you know i run out of astrogens then what i do is i convert the the gold into astrogens by sliming you know um and then afterwards i come back and then for the second rotation what i do is i go to um either like aria lake or if i'm trying to farm certain materials or if i'm trying to like farm like beds for the the wood siren fusion i go to these i go to whichever map that i need to do the fusion with and then i go and then i just go with my um you know my snowy team that farms really really fast and then i do that again until my astrogens becomes all gold and then i convert the gold back into astrogens and this and i'm basically like if i'm farming on these maps i'm basically losing astrogens every single time that i convert because uh, th these maps are not gold efficient but i still need to do it in order to get the uh the the stuff i need for for fusion so afterwards after the second rotation um after i convert again i go back into slumbering city and then i farm again and then on slumbering city my gold gain is positive so basically when i when i convert it back i'm gonna get more astrogens and then i go back to whatever map and i farm again so and, and i just repeat that cycle for the whole entire week um <laughs> and yeah it's, it's gotten pretty insane like i think my my ranking is really high on <laughs> I'm, I'm actually second place in capture league right now i probably would have beat this guy if i didn't spend like a in, spend a day in golems i'll actually spend a day in golems um doing some tests you know getting all the all those eggs and stuff but maybe i shouldn't maybe i should have just uh just farmed <laughs> farmed on slumbering city or something like that the whole entire time but uh yeah it's it's pretty crazy like if you think about it the the astromon league tier like this this over here is like the ranking for whales, and this over here is like the ranking for neckbeards, basically. Um, yeah, this is like this is like how much of a life you have to not have in order to be be here. But anyways, I I think I think it's pretty good. I mean, I won't be able to get the legendary egg, but you know, light dark egg is just as good. You know, especially with my actually no, I lost my light light dark luck. But it might it might just work out. I think my arena's ready. We'll we'll go in. We'll do another another two rounds, and then we'll um, I'll run some dragons. I also have a hundred and fourteen dragon sigils this week. So yeah, that, I did a lot of uh, a lot of extreme mode farming. Um, basically, only doing story map farms. So I guess I'll just go in with this team. I I really like this team. Like I I really like using Dark Cure on the the Katitos. The attack bar boost is so strong, but I don't know if it's going to be as strong once they once I start seeing like evil three fire omniogies. I mean that might counter me. Mm, all right, I'm going to need two Katitos to kill this. It's a C star. I'll probably kill the Victoria first since it's light. Ooh. I think these two should have enough damage and then I'll yeah I guess I'll kill the sea star first okay We just boost my bar up to full and we'll kill we'll just one shot this fire purse or water purse. Nice. I ranked up. We're we're getting closer. Alright, I just need four hundred more points before tomorrow. Hmm, Light Hunter is bad news. Ooh, this guy's built like half tanky or full tanky or something like that. Oh nice, I stunned the snowy. GG. I win.
I win, baby. Somehow that thing still lived. Ugh, that Victoria's one hit away. Please don't kill my Gatito. Alright, we'll put you out of your misery. And we'll use these two to kill. And then this should be enough damage to kill her since she's light. All right, that was that was pretty good. So uh, yeah, let's let's just do some do two like dragon test runs. I might as well, and then you guys can. I'll save the rest of my sigils for uh, for doing um during, doing it during stream, probably stream tomorrow. At the end of it, I don't think I'll be able to farm more dragon sigils because my my like room is running out. So I think I'm just gonna spend like the, the next two days in golems. Maybe if I go hard enough, I can beat the rank 1 guy and get that legendary egg. But then again, it's only just going to give me one more, one more, like, Cura or something. Wait, I can't find my Thor. Where the... Alright, I, I remember. He's over here. And then my Medusa's over here. Wait, is this order right? Yeah, this is the order I like to do it with. I like doing it in this order. It feels it feels more comfortable. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just used to it. Oh my god. Oh shit. I forgot to turn off the auto. No, please. Anyone but my Katito. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad. If I can stun her right now. Nope. I'm fucked. Ooh. That was close. That was really close. Wow, you really like resisting, huh? Ooh, I thought she lived. That, that scared me for a second. Nice, no bats. Alright, I'm I'm really, really fucked. Please go to Victoria. Or please hit uh okay, she's dead. Man, I blame that stupid, uh... I blame that stupid auto thing not being turned off. Yeah, my Thor is dead too. Sad. Oh shit, I should have stunned this. Actually, it doesn't matter. He can't kill me in one hit anyways. Alright, here's the trick. Actually, wait, no, no, there is no trick. What I need to do is I need it. I need him to please get a full bar and don't hit. Oh my god, it hit him! No, she didn't get a full bar, or else it would have been over fifty percent. Okay, I'm really sad. Oh my god, that was that was horrible. Damn it, that's two refills. Oh my god, and he resists the armor break. <laughs> Stupid auto. That messed me up so hard. Oh no, what 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 are you doing? Oh actually it doesn't matter because my armor break didn't land. Ooh, he almost had a full bar. Okay, that was that was very, very wrong. <laughs> that was the worst run ever. Nice, my favorite. Man, why does she resist my stun like four times? I think it's, it's all because of the stupid resist. Nothing's reliable. Now it's reliable. That's how they programmed it. They studied my dragon patterns. 
they they know that if I even if I don't like get it to work, as long as I resist the stun, they can still tilt my ass. Honestly, I, I really don't think... Like, I can Im still improve my dragon team, but I, I don't think it matters too much. I mean, it might cut down my... Um, my refills or revives by a little bit, but it's not going to matter all that much. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I got resisted. Alright, there's still a chance I get this. If my Medusa can get a full bar... And it doesn't hit my Katito. Alright, this needs to land. Okay, nice. Perfect. Alright, that's a, that was a perfect run. Is it good? God damn it. <laughs> Why you have to be flat? Alright, uh, I think that's pretty much it for, for today. I mean, I just basically messed around for a little bit. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm starting to work on my... I kind of want to work on my Fire Purse, but she's short a few Midstones. I mean, I can definitely farm this in the Mixed Dungeon, but I could also wait for the Fire Dungeon as well. Actually, no, I'll probably farm in the Mixed Dungeon, because I'm missing a lot of low stones or Midstones for all three elements. So I definitely think if I farm in the mid dungeon a little bit, it'll definitely help, and um, especially like for wood as well. So I can maybe I can farm in the mixed dungeon for the weekend, and I'll I'll probably get her to six star before tomorrow, and uh, we'll we'll see from there. Like I I can get her to six star before tomorrow, and it'll probably take me another day to like level her and stuff, and we'll we'll try her out in B10 afterwards. Um, also got some got some books. I got a lot of books, a lot of Coco books, almost enough to completely max skill Coco. I'm probably gonna wait for the light and dark Cocos to come out, and then I'll I'll try to max out like either the light one or the dark one. I'll I'll definitely max out a light one if I can get um like a triple HP siphon on him. I think he's definitely usable if I can get like three HP siphon. This way I don't have to like you know switch one of my Mihos to siphon. And they don't they don't have like the perfect gem slots. They they have like one. One of each. All of, all of my Mihos have one of each. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. But anyways, that is what I'm going to be working on. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, um, be sure to ask me. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.